Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Good to see you. The bill before us today did not go through a committee like a bill this large should. We could have offered amendments to address some of the most pressing issues with this tax bill. I would have started with how this bill cherry picks winners and losers, with many of the losers being in states like the state I live in, the state of New Jersey. This is again, let me repeat, weekend at Bernie's. They prop up the dead tax bill, make them look alive, make it look alive, and then they bring in something that makes it even look more dead. <laughs> that didn't work. This will not work. You didn't run on it. You will not run on this. Our state got slammed by the new cap on the state and local tax deduction, better than on assault state and local taxes, the oldest deduction in the books. The GOP tax scam took money from homeowners, communities in my state, and others to fund their massive giveaway to big corporations. The data is there. It is clear. It is succinct. It is definitive. Republicans even bragged about using their tax scam to hurt New Jersey and the region. Imagine that. Imagine bragging about deliberately hurting millions of people. My amendment would have restored this critical deduction, but it was blocked. This bill before us today provides targeted relief to victims of disasters, but only a select few. There have been 13 disasters since we last held a committee meeting on a tax bill, and I don't see them listed here. Not to mention the tax relief that victims of Hurricane Sandy never received in the first place. There is a bill that would provide disaster tax relief to all federally declared disaster areas automatically, which it should be. So we don't have to play these partisan games of picking and choosing. If we want to help people, let's vote on it. There are provisions in this bill that I would have supported, but our chairman made no such attempt to reach us. In fact, we didn't have any witnesses. In fact, we had no hearings. How about that for democracy? Instead, this is nearly $100 billion. It's unpaid for. You're very good at that. It's undebated. You think you know all the answers. And it's very, very partisan. So much for re reaching out. And most important, it utterly ignores the needs of workers in this country. Mr. Speaker, you hear that General Motors just announced 14,700 workers are losing their jobs. Does this bill do anything to address that? No. In fact, the underlying tax bill you're trying to fix today, remember Bernie, did nothing to help those workers either. GM moves American jobs to China and Mexico. They'll be paying a lower tax rate for the pleasure. From 21% to a minimum of just 10.5%. How do you justify that? Yield the gentleman additional one minute. How do you justify that? Thank you. And we continue to let them deduct the cost. Get this. They, we allow them to deduct the cost of moving their operations overseas. How un-American do you get? We need to stop that. There is a bill, by the way, to do that, if you noticed. If you can believe it, General Motors saved more than $150 million so far this year, thanks to your scam. And they appear to have benefited by as much as $6.5 billion by the tax holiday offshore for offshore cash hidden in this GOP bill. The date is clear, Mr. Chairman. Read it. Yet here they are shipping jobs overseas just in time for the holidays. You might think after that they were repudiated at the ballot box, which shows some humility. Extend a hand to work with us. Reach out. No. All you can do is smile and say, Bernie, it's Jealous here. Has expired. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.